Hey, remember those Stadler hydrogen units? They're here. Howdy and hello everyone, and remember those hydrogen multiple units for Aero? Well, guess what? After a search through the SBCTA board meeting notes for September 3rd, 2025, we now have an official start date for these new hydrogen powered trains. But before I talk about that, let's look into a little bit of how this happened and more importantly, why it took them so long to get a single multiple unit into service. Our story starts in 2019, where the SBCTA, along with a few other big brain people, began looking into the feasibility of running a ZEMU, or Zero Emissions Multiple Unit, on the new Aero Rail service to run between San Bernardino and the Redlands. This single ZEMU was and still is meant for more of a test of the technology rather than an actual full on new way of service. After all, you can't really run a rail service off one ZEMU and Sunday prayers. They looked into three options, electrification, battery, and hydrogen. For those who are not familiar with rail, that's basically saying, well, you could either choose this medicine, proven and backed by years of research and usage, this one that still has a bit of research but is more of third party, or this one which might just be some silly snow that's been combined with urine and shoved in the syringe. Now, in full Southern California fashion, the SBCTA went with the weirdest one out of the three. Now, this isn't a dog on battery and hydrogen that much. Of course, in certain settings, these can work, but with how much extra infrastructure slash research has to be done, and with everything that could easily go wrong, electrification still remains the most reasonable option. But of course, the most expensive, which is why we're even here in the first place. So after choosing the manufacturer Stadler, the first hydrogen ZEMU was built and sent to Pueblo, Colorado for testing in late 2024. Yeah, that's certainly a time gap. Afterwards, it subsequently began testing along the 9 mile Aero route. However, because of some happy little accidents such as PTC, the testing got delayed all the way to summer 2025. Okay, two things with that point. One, why is PT such a bitch? And two, I think it's safe to say that every time you hear a service start for any transit project and their project date is over three months ahead, just expect it to get delayed. I don't think I've seen a single transit project in recent times say, yes, we will be starting early next year and actually managed to meet that deadline. But back on the point of the ZEMUs, in mid-summer 2025, Metrolink submitted their testing notes to the FRA and a request for amendment to its PTC safety plan. This, as well as some other was all approved and finalized just a few days ago in August of 2025. So now with all this complete, the SBCTA has finally been able to say when they will enter revenue service. So drum roll please. September 13th. Yes, you heard me right. Mark your calendars, cancel your plans, and get your affairs in order because we're all headed to the Redlands to party and see the service start of the brand new Hydrogen Z EMUs or ZEMUs. Okay, but in all seriousness, yes, the Hydrogen ZEMUs will be entering service on September 13th, 2025. On what train? At what time? I have no idea. All I know is that's the day, according to these board meeting notes. And I swear to God, SBCTA, if you change that at the last moment and make me look like a complete idiot, I'm going to go full French Revolution on your ass. This service start could very well look like the NCTD CEMs, where they just randomly threw them on a train with not a lick of notice, but considering how this is straight up the first ever hydrogen passenger train to enter service in the United States, I'd imagine they want to make at least some kind of mention of it. But what does this mean for other services around the US? Well, as some of my viewers may know, many agencies have also been looking into battery and hydrogen, and I bet you this service start will be closely watched by those organizations to see how this will work. But considering the past, I have a feeling these things could explode and Caltrans would still purchase 15 of them and run them on the San Joaquin's, I mean Gold Runner. If this service start goes well though, we may see other railroads who want zero emissions equipment to possibly start looking into buying hydrogen equipment. But that's all in the future for now. For now, we just have to wait for September 13th to roll around to see how this new technology truly fares. But with all that, that will be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it because it's like 2am right now and I sure as hell don't enjoy recording it. Expect some familiar content coming from me quite soon and expect the next episode of State Cross within the next two weeks or so. So, without further ado, I was 5008 Creations, you were the viewer, and I'll see you in the future. Goodbye. Thank you.